What's up, boys? Data782 here with episode 13 of the Brooklyn Bellows franchise mode here at the beginning of the 2023 postseason. Coming off a big year where we had the surprise acquisition of Mark Shifley. Shifley is going to be playing first line center for us this year. I didn't mention it in the last episode. I did put it in a little text at the bottom, but in the 23 games that he played for us on the second line, he had 17 points for us. So he's done pretty well. The first line's been struggling plus minus wise. So these are the lines that I'm starting out with uh, for the playoffs. I might put Hurdle at center and move around the wingers. Uh, but for right now, this is how it's going to be with Janssen, Shifley, Marner at the top line. Hurdle, the brink at Big Ollie. Big Ollie struggled a little bit. Defense, it on paper looks like we're pits with Axel Anderson, Jet Wu, these guys, but they have been on fire this season. Axel Anderson, he played 58 games, had seven points, and was a plus seven. So I'm excited to see what he can do for the playoffs. Jet Wu has been good. Mirko Muller has been solid. And uh, it's time to roll, boys. Thatcher Demko is between the pipes. In his playoff career, he is... Uh, He's in the NHL. He's 0-1 and 0, so nothing special. In the AHL, he's had some experience, but it is this has been his first full season. He dominated with 10 shutouts and 40 wins. Man, one fourth of his wins were shutouts. That's just crazy to think about. But here we go, boys. We are ready. It's our best team that we've ever had on paper. Now, can they perform, or will they be cursed by the EA voodoo? That is the question. So heading into the postseason, we were 4-5-1 in our last 10, a bit of a struggle. The Lightning were 5-3-2. They beat us in seven games last year in the Eastern Conference Final, and they may, may be our toughest opponents of the entire postseason here in the first round. So we need to get through them, boys. Without further ado, at Amelie Arena, let's hop into game number one of round number one in the 2023 playoffs. Here we go, boys. Mark Shifley, Thomas Hurdle, all the big names ready to go. First period, a goal for Andreas Janssen on Andre Veselevsky, the best goalie in the NHL. I got to give it to him. Second period, goal for us, two for us, Pontus Aberg and Jordan Eberle. So the bottom six getting in. Franzen scores on Demko. We are up three to one heading into the third period. Power play Lightning, Franzen scores the second of the game with a power play goal. Lead cut to one with just about 10 minutes left. And Pontus Aberg with his second of the night. So Pontus Aberg, he just disgraced Brooklyn last season by getting two penalties, Mitch Marner. By getting two penalties and Radish, well, finish off this game. Okay, throw it at Benson, gets an empty netter. And Pontus Aberg, two goals. Shifley, three assists. So he disgraced Brooklyn by getting two penalties in Game 7, which gave the Lightning like two power play goals. And we brought him back. He's on the fourth line, and he just scored two big goals to start off the playoffs. Sean Pekka's back for Burnaby. Fix that up. And he has shown himself to have some quote in this one. So Janssen scored. He had a goal and an assist. Shifley, three assists. Marner, goal and an assist. Aberg, two goals. Taze, two assists. Byers, an assist. All right, boys, we're 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 hitting a uh, we're rolling, boys. Game number two with a one nothing series lead. Let's make it two. Don't let them tie it up, boys. Let's go. Early power play in this one. Early power play goal for Brendan Benson. Big goal for him in a season where he has really excelled. From a third round pick to our top defensive pair. I love this guy. First period ends one nothing. Second period, another goal for us. It's from Chittle to make it two to nothing. All right, boys, two nothing lead here in the third period. And Thomas Hurdle makes it three nothing. We have been solving Vasilevsky these last couple games. And Hurdle gets his second of the period just about five minutes later to give us a four nothing lead. That looks like it will be enough for the victory. Will it be enough for the you know what? It will be Thatcher Demko gets the shutout. Huge, huge, huge. 29 save performance. Two assists for Big Ollie. And two goals and an assist for Thomas Hurdle. Huge performance, boys. Three goals against through two games. Very, very good. We've scored 10, one of them being an empty netter. Huge. So we're heading into Charo Arena. In game number three, we have a 2-0 series lead. We're just going to keep it rolling. 
Let's make it a 3 nothing series lead, boys. Everyone's buzzing at Chicharos. Everyone's got their burgers and their sandwiches. And Chittle scores just 37 seconds in. And Big Ollie gets another one to make it 2 nothing. Vasilevsky, we've been solving him. Power play, nothing from that one. So first period ends 2 to nothing. Doubling their shots right now. Second period, another one. Mitch Marner, 3 nothing. We are steamrolling the lightning right now. We are just flying out here. The boys are buzzing. All the bellies and bellas are just going nuts at Chicharos. 3 nothing lead with 10 minutes left in this third period in game number three. Another power play. And Palat scores. That might have been a shorthanded goal. And Vasilevsky's doing well. Three goals on 40 shots. But then just it's just that, the Thatcher Demko show. Thomas Hurdle throws in the empty netter, and we win this one 4-1. Demko, 27 saves. Big Ollie, a goal and an assist. Hurdle, a goal and an assist. And just like that, snap your fingers. We have a 3-0 series lead, boys. It's crazy. Thatcher Demko is bringing the team on his back. Flashes of Gavin Osgood from the Canadian, Canadians franchise mode. And we are looking to sweep, boys. Can we sweep the Tampa Bay Lightning here at Chicharo Arena in Game 4 of Round 1? First period, 0-0. Second period, goal apiece. It's Alex Zabrinkat and Taylor Radish. Game is tied at 1, heading into the third. The Lightning are fighting for their lives. And then Chittle makes it 2-1. Give us a lead with 15 minutes left in this one. Stamkos comes right back and ties it up 2-2. Two they are fighting for their playoff lives. They had a great season, and it's just flipping away. Tyler Johnson gets a shorthanded goal, which is possibly the second shorthanded goal of this series that we let in. Will it be enough to push Game 5? It will be, as Joseph throws in another one. And the Lightning win Game number 4 by a score of 4-2. to two. Vasilevsky made 25 saves, and it was we just didn't have enough to push that sweep. But it's all right. We're going to go to game number five on the road and try to end it out there. Let's close it out, boys. Let's get this rest. And let's go straight into round number two with smiles on our faces. First period, 1-1. One, one. Radish had the early goal. And Alex Debrinkat right there. Radish is just carrying the lightning right now. 1-1 one, one game. Second period, goal for Thomas Hurdle, who's been going nuts this round. 2-1 lead in the third period. Can we get another one? Power play for the Lightning. We kill it off. Huge penalty kill. And Thomas Hurdle gets another one. He has just been the story. Tyler and then Radish. He's been the story for the Lightning. Power play for us once again. Nothing. We're being outshot by about 10. But we're holding on to that one goal lead. Will it be enough? One minute left. And it will be Kyle Connor with one second left. Throws in an empty netter. And the Brooklyn Bellows are off to round number two. Hurdle with two goals and an assist. The Brink had a goal and two assists. Radish had two goals, but it wasn't enough. Thomas Hurdle, man. Five goals and four assists for nine points through five games. Who else is flying out here? The defense has been strong, man. Look at these plus minuses. The Brink had plus six. Benson plus eight. Ollie plus seven. Uh, Aber fourth line are negative ones, but still negative ones only. Byram's a plus one. Muller's a plus two. Where's Axel Anderson? Plus two with two assists. Beautiful. Seven points for Debrinkat. Five for Chittle, Benson, and Ollie. Man, I'm just loving it. Shifley only had one assist through the last four games, but he was a solid presence out there. And Thatcher Demko, 4-1-0 and with a shutout, a 2.01 goals against average, and a 9.33 save percentage. Boys, rest up and smile. Cafe Cremas are on me at Chicharos for the next week. Relax with the family. Take it easy here in April. And before we move on to round number two, who will our opponent be? And we will be facing the Detroit Red Wings. Okay. We have not yet faced the Red Wings in the playoffs. And they're a pretty good team. They weren't that good at the start of last season, I remember. But they must have picked it up. Lightning, they're a good young team. So, Detroit. They, I know they have Lafreniere, Vigilante here. So, Daniel Vigilante, Vigilante, whatever you want to call him. He was a third overall pick in 2019. Crazy five-star shooting. He had 44 goals in the season. Larkin's at center. Anthony Mantha's on the wing with, I don't know how he grows in every franchise mode. Lafreniere, 86 overall. Zadina's here, 88 overall. 
Michael Rathmussen. Max Domi is here. Rasmussen, sorry. Max Domi. Okay, that's big on their third line. Joey Valeno, of course. Shout out to the pride of RDP. Ryan Murray, Madison Bowie, Chalowski, Brodeen. Pretty solid defense. I'll give them that as well. And their goaltending is Frederick Anderson. Wow. And 79 overall Henrik Lundqvist is backing up. He wants a Stanley Cup. And they're, even their scratches are pretty good. So the Red Wings are a good team. They What did they do in the first round? They took down the Buffalo Sabres in six games. So nothing crazy. They didn't sweep, but still a six-game victory for them. Uh, the Capitals beat the Penguins in seven. Devils beat the Islanders. That's big. Uh, Jackets beat the Wild. Stars beat the Blues. Kings beat the Sharks. And Coyotes beat the Blackhawks. Sorry, Max Pacioretty and Yusei Soros. Nothing for you today. So, boys, hopping into round number two right here at Little Caesars Arena, the 44, 28, and 10 Detroit Red Wings. Let's get it. Game one, round two. Let's keep it going, boys. First period. Two goals for us. It's from Eric Byers, his first career playoff goal, and Mark Shifley, his first playoff goal with us. Rasmussen gets one for the Red Wings to bring them within one. Second period, goal apiece, Hinnestroza and Hurdle. Six goals in six games now for Thomas Hurdle. 3-2 lead, power play for the Red Wings that we kill off. We're out shooting them 37-18, to which is pretty crazy. Holding on to that one goal lead. Frederick Anderson standing tall. Power play for the Bellows. The, uh, the Red Wings will kill that off. Three minutes left in this period, well, in this game. 41 shots and Bowen Byram will add the empty netter as we win game one, four to two. But Freddie Anderson, big night. Two assists for Marner. Somehow Rasmussen's the first star with one goal, even though they lost. And a 30, 38 or 37 save performance, something like that, for uh, Frederick Anderson. Big night for him. Wasn't enough though as we take game number one in Little Caesars. But now we're back for game number two of round number two. Here we go. First period, three goals for the Red Wings. Zadina, Larkin, and Larkin. So two for Larkin and one for Zadina on Demko. Three goals on 19 shots. Yikes. After we outshot them and shamed them in game one, they came back with a vengeance here in the first period of game two. Let's go, boys. Second period. Okay, we get one. Kyle Connor, his first not empty net goal. 3-1. Lead is cut to two. Outshot 32 to 14. Let's pick it up in this third period, boys. Let's go. Let's wake up. Let's get something before it's too late. Let's get one at least before it's too late. We're sleeping. We're slipping. We are struggling. And it looks like we are done for. And that's going to be all she wrote here in this third period. Yep. Oh, no. Benson. But yeah, 18 seconds left. He wakes up. But a 3-2 victory for the Red Wings. That first period was just enough to get them all the way. As Benson scored, but it uh, wasn't wasn't quite enough as it was a little, too little too late. No goal for uh, Hurdle in that one, but he still has six goals in seven games. And that's all right. The series is tied at one. It is now a best of seven. We go back to Chicharro's. Everyone's excited. Everyone's having their uh, sandwiches and burgers over at Chicharro's on L'Angelier. First period, Zadina gets an early goal on Demko. Rest of the first period, another goal for Vigilante. 2-0 lead for the Red Wings heading into the second period. Come on, boys. We don't want to go down in this series. Let's go. Power play Red Wings. Evgeny Sveshnikov. Debrinkat comes back. He's awake. 3-1. Power play for the Bellows. Let's go. <sighs> Killed off. Power play for the Red Wings. Struggling. Come on, boys. Okay, sim this period. 3-1. Third period. Down by two. Come on, boys. Another power play for the Red Wings. Kill that off again. Come on, boys. Out of the box. Let's go. Ten minutes left. Come on, boys. Another power play for the Red Wings. Man. That's going to be it. Who's getting all these penalties? Aberg hooking. Eberly roughing. Eberly hooking. Eberly tripping. He had six penalty minutes. Three minor penalties for Jordan Eberly. Ay, ay, ay. So we're now down 2-1 to one in this series. It's a bit of a buzz, but let's go and tie it up, boys. We're still at home, and we still have the quota and passion to do it. 
Game four, at home, down two to one in round number two to the Red Wings. Here we go, first period, three goals for the Bellows. There we go, Hurdle, Benson, and Marner coming out with Passion and Quote. Three nothing lead in the first period. Second period, one goal for, ooh, sorry. Lafreniere scored one goal for the Red Wings in the second period. And the third period, Mark Scheifele scored two minutes and nine seconds in. And that would be enough as we win game number four by a score of four to one. As Thatcher Dunco made 27 saves, Janssen had three assists, and Marner had a goal and an assist. Very nice, boys. Big first period, and that was enough. So it is now a best of three. The series is tied up at two, just like the Devils and Capitals. The Jackets swept the Stars, and the Coyotes are up 3-1 on the Kings. Man, okay. We're going to keep the lines as they are. 2-2 two -two series. In Detroit, early power play for the Bellows. Early power play goal for Mitch Marner. And then Van Estrosa comes right back, though. Power play for the Red Wings. And it's a long one, but we kill it off. Who is getting penalties again? Kyle Connor and Benson. First period ends 1-1. One one. Second period, two goals. Well, one goal apiece. Alex Debrinkat and Vigilante. 2-2 two -two game heading into the third. Whoever gets this game will have a big advantage. And Chittle on the power play. Huge goal. Another power play. And Hurdle on the power play. The power play is coming through the special teams. That is it, boys. Chittle and Hurdle, two minutes apart, both on the power play. Huge, huge goals here in the third period of game number five. Huge. Who got those penalties for Detroit? Man, it was Vigilante and Hinestroza. Man, oh man. So only 22 shots to Detroit's 20, uh, 37. Demko, 35 saves. Huge performance. Chittle and Hurdle, a goal and an assist piece. A piece. And we are smiling after that one. Now we go into game six, though. We're back home. We're at Chicharos. We can close it, all, close it out and go to the Eastern Conference Finals for the second straight season. Let's do it, boys. Come on. Let's have passion and quote. First period, goal apiece. Vigilante and Shifley. 1-1 one, one game. 15 shots for the Wings. Second period, 1-1 one, one game it remains. Shots 21-16. to 1-1 one, one game. Power play for the Bellows. Killed off by the Red Wings. Will this possibly, possibly be our first game of the playoffs that goes to an overtime that we can hop in and watch? Power play for the Bellows gets killed off for the Red Wings. Power play for the Red Wings, killed off by us. Three minutes left. Do we have a late hero? We're going overtime, boys. Let's hop in. A goal for us, and we're off to the Eastern Conference Finals. Let's do it. And here we are in overtime, boys. One goal. Benson will be the hero. Ooh, big save for Anderson. A goal for us, and we're off to the Eastern Conference Finals. A goal for the Red Wings, and we're off to Game 7. Face-off win. It's Brendan Benson. Oh, Mantha has a breakaway. Big mistake. Oh, big save for Thatcher Demko, though. Huge save. And, oh, oh man. The sliders are up for sure. Marner, old oh, backhand. Close. Big save for Anderson. Janssen, another save for Anderson. Here's Bowen Byram. Axel Anderson. Big save for, Ander for Frederick Anderson. Chittle to Wu, to Kyle Connor, lets it rip, big save for Frederick Anderson. Pontesaber gets thrown into another universe, but it's going to be a power play for us now. And for some, some hots, a tripping penalty, but I'll take it. Jonas Brodin pushes him down, but gets a tripping penalty. That makes sense, no problem. That fan on the left is buzzing his Teshta. The Brinkat, Shifley and Marner are out. I believe it's uh, Janssen and Benson at the point, if it's the first pair. And here we go. Power plays aren't that special though with the sliders, but uh, hopefully, no, it's a big Ollie and Lindholm at the point. Hopefully something can come from it. Shifley to big Ollie. Oh, big save from Frederick Anderson. He had a clear shot. Shifley and Anderson will hang on for that one. Here is Eberly. Hurdle. Tommy Hurdle. Eberly in front. Yachts is scored! A beautiful passing play, and Andreas Janssen has put the Bellows through to the Eastern Conference Final for the second straight season. Wow, a huge goal. Power play goal. Beautiful passing, and the Bellows are through in six games. There's Captain Mitch Marner with Captain Anthony Mantha. 
Wow, wow, wow. There's Jordan Eberle with a nice playoff beard. Thatcher Demko and Frederick Anderson shaking hands. Sorry to Henrik Lundqvist, Joe Valeno, all those guys who wanted to get a no cup. Wow, wow, wow. Big no game. So that ended, the shots ended 34-30 to 30 for the Wings. First star, Thatcher Demko. Andreas Janssen is the third star. Let's see a replay on that goal. Buck gets dumped down. Janssen picks it up, who's playing defense. Up to Eberle. He gives it to Hurdle. He does a dipsy doodle, skates around, looks at his option. He gives it down to Eberle. And then Eberle's being covered. As, ooh. Eberle's being covered. So he says, I'm just going to pass it. Backhand pass right there to on the palette of Anderson. Chittle could have had it too. And then Frederick Anderson totally out of position. He gets caught. And it is an easy belly goal for Andreas Janssen. So we're off to the, to the Eastern Conference Finals for the second straight year. And in the Eastern Conference Finals, we will be facing the... New Jersey Devils, man, they were a very good team this season. Let's check out what was their record. They won the President's Trophy. So for the second straight year, we're taking on the best team in the Eastern Conference. I'm not sure if the Lightning won the President's Trophy last year, but they were definitely a good team. 55, 23, and 4 were the uh, New Jersey Devils during the season. Nico Hiche is leading the way with 11 points in 11 games. Taylor Hall... Bastion, Blake Spears, who somehow 78 overall with six assists. He had a 34-point year. Tanner Pearson, who never played for us. Braden Point is there. That's a big player, 91 overall. Jo Joey Anderson, not Josh Anderson. TJ Brody, Jesper Bratt, Will Butcher. Who's in Nets over here? They have, um, of course, I forgot, Elvis Merzlikens, of course, the 82 overall who has a 1.69 goals against average and three shutouts. But our goaltender is the one and only Thatcher Demko, 8-3-0, 936 save percentage, 1.96 goals against average. Thomas Hurdle has 15 points in 11 games with eight goals. Debrinkat and Janssen, 11 each. Marner, 10. Shifley, 9. Everyone's looking good. Anyone looking bad? Jet Wu's a minus two. Tays, Byers, and Aberg are all negatives. Not going to worry too much about that just yet. Benson has four goals and three assists for seven points. That's nuts. Man, so let me... Uh, that's, that's the Devils. Let me see their lines here. Oh, so pretty balanced lines here. The P Pearson's on the first line. Bratz on the second. The, the, nine, the 291s are spread out here. Zach is a bit of a lower overall for... Uh, man, how the mighty have fallen. Pavel Zaka. Sixth overall in 2015. Bottom five is a bottom six is a bit weaker. Defense is pretty even across the board. Pretty solid team, and of course you got Mers Lickens and Nets. Uh, Brandon Montour is a healthy scratch. Yeah, so we're gonna keep our lines as they have been. It's been working for us, and uh, the Devils took down the Capitals in six games, I believe. And over in the West, it's the Blue Jackets versus the Coyotes. Yeah, six games they took down the Capitals. So it's Bellows and Devils versus Coyotes and Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets over in the Western Conference now because of the uh, reallocation of the divisions when the Bellows joined the league. And we're going to hop right into it, boys. I'm excited. The second straight year of us being in the Eastern Conference Finals, and it is going to be it's gonna be a tough one. Meanwhile, in Burnaby, we got shamed in the playoffs, I guess. Oh, we didn't even make the playoffs. Yeah, we had like 40 wins, but it wasn't even good enough for the playoffs. 45 wins or whatever. Okay, that makes sense. No problem. So let's hop into it, boys. At Prudential Center in New Jersey, right next to Brooklyn. The fans are just commuting across the bridge, and everyone's buzzing in the parking lots. Power plays a piece. It didn't go to anything. Let's have the first period of the Eastern Conference Final, and it's 3-1. Okay, so Taylor Hall scored. But then just about 20, so 23 seconds later, Debrinkat scores. With three minutes left, Byers scores. And with 14 seconds left, Lindholm scores. We are up 3-1 to one heading into the second period. No goals in the second. Shots 24-23 in our favor. Third period up by two. Power play for the Devils. Five on three. Of course, Braden Point scores. 
For some reason, we had a five on three. Then Byers makes it four to two, though, with his second of the game. I said pause, and then Taylor Hall scores. I said pause. Why doesn't it ever pause? For goodness sakes, man. Who got those penalties there? Right back to back hooking penalties, of course. So it's now four to three for us with eight minutes left in this one because Taylor Hall came right back after Byers scored. Four minutes left. Shots are tied at 36. And it will be enough as we take game one of the Eastern Conference Finals by a score of four to three. Two goals for Eric Byers, two goals for Taylor Hall, and a goal and an assist for Alex DeBrincat. Huge, huge, huge game that was. So heading into game number two now with that one nothing series lead is very nice. New draft rankings. Give me a second. See if there's any gems here. We have three guys who are potentially franchised. That's crazy. Let me just pin these guys. That's nice. Three potential franchisees. And a couple of gems here. Another goalie, Zachary Grantham. Man, I wish I... I need like 50 picks per, uh, per season. So that's it for Central Scouting. My scouts are still uh, out on their uh, assignments. And now we have game number two of round number three in New Jersey. Let's go, boys. First period, two goals for the Devils, Hishie, oh, Hishie and Bastion, and then Tanner Pearson with two seconds left in the second period. That's a rough one. We're down 3-0 heading into the third. We need someone to wake up fast. Power play for the Bellows. Gets killed off by the Devils. Uh, that'll probably be enough. That is shameful. Come on, boys. Merzlikens, 82 overall. Come on. Pits. And then Lindholm with a minute 52 left on Sen, who is in nets for some reason. Why did, yeah, why did Merz Lincolns leave? Let me so see. No injuries to report for the devil, so I guess Merz Lincolns just left for uh, some precautionary reasons. But we head into game three. We're at Chicharo Arena. We're back home, and the series is tied at one. We did it last series. Let's do it again. First period at home. Goal for Thomas Hurdle. Huge, 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 huge performer thus far. one nothing heading into the second period. Goals, for oh, three to two. So three goals for the uh, for the Devils in that period. Zaka, Quinville, and Bratt. Three goals in about five minutes. And then Mitch Marner with 26 seconds left gets us back within one. Heading into the third period, down by one, out shooting them by a few. Come on, boys, let's solve Mers Lickens. Play big for Demko. Power play goal for Mark Scheifele. Ties this game up at three. Ten minutes left. Nick Bastian scores on Suglobov, who's in nets now. Getting his first ever playoff action. <laughs> Let's go, Chittle. Ties it up at four. Just And Mark Scheifele with 3.58 left. Will that be enough? Mark Scheifele will be, he be the hero, and he will be. Jet Wu with a second left gets the empty netter. And Mark Scheifele, the hero in this one, the game-winning goal, four third-period third goals, three on a goaltender. Janssen, two assists, goal and assist for Marner, two goals and an assist for Scheifele. And we are up three, sorry, two to one in this series, heading into game number four. Let's hop straight in. Ooh, the, ooh boy. The Blue Jackets are beating the Coyotes three to nothing in the West. They're definitely going to the Cup Final. 2-1 lead for us. Here we go. Period 1 of Game 4 at home. Goals apiece from Hurdle and Hall. Thomas Hurdle, what a monster. Second period, 1-1 one, one game it remains. Third period, Thompson makes it 2-1. And then Cal Connor ties it right back up. Power play for the Bellows. 2-2 two, two game, killed off. Power, uh, McLeod scores. And then a Big Ollie, 20 seconds later. And then Hishie, just four, 12 seconds later. Makes it four to three. Power play Devils. We kill that off. Lots of goals in this period. Let me see another for the Bellows. Five minutes left. Come on, boys. Three minutes, two minutes. Need a hero. And there won't be. So a, very, a high scoring third period. Five goals in that third period. Big Ollie had a goal and an assist, but it wasn't enough. Ouch. So the Blue Jackets swept the Coyotes. Wow, that is crazy. 20 points in 14 games for Pierre-Luc Dubois, 18 for Panarin, 17 for Atkinson. That first line is carrying big time. In nets is David Riddick, who's 12 and two with two shutouts, 83 overall. Like I'm telling you, bro, the lower overall, the better you are in NHL. That's all you gotta be. So it is now a best of three series. 
It is tied at two, and we are headed back to New Jersey. Thomas Hurdle, 17 points in 15 games. Let's go, boys. First period, two goals for the Bellows. Andreas Janssen and Big Ollie, 2 nothing lead, doubling the Devils' shots. Second period, another two goals. Jordan Eberle, welcome to the show, and Kyle Connor. 4 nothing lead for the Bellows. Huge lead hanging at the third period. Let's not squander it. Let's be smart and play well for the poor guy between the pipes. Let's go. Power play remains 4-0. Shots 37-21. A huge statement game from the Bellows as they will take this game by a score of 4-0. A 22 save shutout for Thatcher Demko. Goal and an assist, a piece for Eberly and Connor. Whew, and just like that, we are one game away from the Stanley Cup Final. Boys, we've been here before. Last year, we were one game away in Game 7. We don't want to be there. We're one game away in Game 6. Let's just get it done. Game 6 at Chicharo Arena. Let's go to the beeping Stanley Cup Finals, boys. Let's do it. First period, two goals for the Bellows. Mitch Marner scores them both. And then Smith makes it a one goal lead as he gets one. 2 1 game. Power play for the Bellows. Second period, goal apiece for the for the two teams once again. Taylor Hall on Demko. But then Mark Shifley. Man, what a monster. 3 2 lead. So we are 20 minutes away with a one goal lead from the Stanley Cup final. Let's go, boys. Power play early on. Killed off by the Devils. Come on, boys. We want the Stanley Cup Finals. Ten minutes left in this third period. We are so close. Five minutes away. We're almost there, boys. Slow down the sim a little bit. 29 seconds left. Let's hop in. 30 seconds left in overtime. 3-2 game for the Bellows. One goal lead. Will it be enough to get us to the Stanley Cup Final? Devils pulling their goalie. Play smart, boys. Let's go. Don't let the sliders get you. Pavel Zaka. Let's it go. Empty netter for Byers. Come on, Belly. Eric Byers! And the Brooklyn Bellows are going to the Stanley Cup Final. The Stallion loves it. The Brooklyn Bellows for the first time in franchise history. Fourth goal of the playoffs for Eric Byers. For the first time in franchise history, the Brooklyn Bellows are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. In our fifth season, we are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. Year one, no playoffs. Year two and three, first round. Year three and four, second and third round. And now year five, Stanley Cup Finals. Tanner Pearson scores with 4.2 seconds left to make it 4-3. to three. Beep you, you piece of garbage. You will never go anywhere. The Devils think they have hope with four seconds left, but it will not be enough as the Brooklyn Bellows have done it. There's Captain Mitch Marner, Thatcher Demko, another big series for him. Sorry, Elvis. See you later, Bello. Man. That guy's hair is going through his helmet. If you rewind, you'll see that. Mitch Marner and Taylor Hall, the two captains, shaking hands. Demko and Mitch Lincolns. Beep you. Time then Marner comes the over to the trophy, the Prince of Wales, Wales trophy. trophy. He will not touch it. Big smiles with Gary Bettman. He's looking good these days. And that'll be it, boys. Off to face the Columbus Blue Jackets in the Stanley Cup Final. Two goals and assists for Mitch Marner, a goal and two assists for Mark Shifley, and three assists for Andreas Janssen. So 18 points in 17 games for Thomas Hurdle. We already looked at the Blue Jackets' stats. We're going to go check out their lines. We are taking them on in the Stanley Cup Finals, boys. Let's go check it out. Blue Jackets have a very strong first line. Second line, David Perron at 34 years old. Nolan Foote, Sonny Milano. Oh, Milano's, huh? They're going to try and get Chicharos. I see how it is. Josh Anderson, Wierenski and Jones, great top pair. Bottom four is a bit weaker, but still good. David Riddick and Nets with Darcy Kemper, Mr. Darcy himself, backing him up. A couple solid uh, defensemen there, ready in the scratch scratches. But boys, we are strong and we are mighty. We are the Bellows. 
Andreas Janssen, he's flying 17 points in 17 games. Mark Scheifele, he has 18 points in 17 games. Thomas Hurdle, 18 points in 17 games. Mitch Marner, 17 points. Debrinkat, 14 points. Big Ollie, 11 points. The bottom four, not as much, but they are, they are doing their part, and we are smiling. Taze, a negative four. Yikes. How's the defense? Axel Anderson, plus six, baby. That's all we need. Bowen Byram, he's playing solid. Hampus Lindholm is playing very solid. Brendan Benson is a great surprise. And Thatcher Demko, he is up to a 12-5-0 record. Two shutouts, 9.23 save percentage, 2.38 goals against average. Boys, let's do it. It is the Stanley Cup final. We are at Chicharo Arena. The, the, the Blue Jackets had a 44-33-5 record. A bit of a surprise to see them in the Stanley Cup Finals, but here we are. We are at Chicharo Arena. The Stanley Cup Finals are on. Let's go. First period, big goal for Jordan Eberle saying welcome to the Stanley Cup Playoffs. He really wants to get his hands on a cup. Second period, Mark Scheifele, a quick goal, makes it 2 to nothing. And another one from Eric Byers, three to nothing. Okay, boys, keep it up. Second period, another one. Alex DeBrincat makes it four to nothing to end off the first. Second period. Third period, we lead four to zero. Only ten shots for the Blue Jackets. Hurdle, a power play goal. Huge game. We have dominated this game, boys. This has been all bellows. Another power play. That one's killed off by the Jackets. Power play for them. We kill it off. Another power play for the Jackets that we once again kill off. And that'll be all she wrote. Five nothing victory in game one of the Stanley Cup play, uh, finals. Demko a 17 save shutout. Hurdle a goal and an assist. Eberle a goal. For many players, this would be their first Stanley Cup, man. If not, if not even all of our players. I forget if the Islanders won a cup, then maybe Eberle would have won the cup with uh, with that team. But I don't think we have anyone from the Blues. Anyone from the uh, uh, who else won the Stanley Cup? Did the Jets win the cup? If they did, then Shifley would have won it. Maybe. He had 24 points in 21 games last year. Did they win the cup last year? Maybe it was the Jets. Time flies, man. Who knows? Let's go. Game number two. A huge first game that the, Jet, the, the Blue Jackets are going to try and uh, redeem themselves from as we shamed them 5 to nothing at home. Let's keep it up, boys. Shame them again. Game two. Stanley Cup Finals here at Chicharo. Let's go. First period, no goals. Second period, goals from Andreas Janssen and Nolan Foote. The first pit goal for the Blue Jackets after nearly six shutout, uh, nearly five shutout periods for Thatcher Demko. 1-1 one, one game headed into the third now. Who is going to step up? Power play for the Bellows, killed off by the Jackets. Power play for the Jackets. Long power play for the Jackets, killed off by the Bellows. Huge, huge, huge penalty kill there. Are we going to be headed to overtime? Yes, we will. Shots 32 to 22. 1-1 one, one game. Headed into overtime. Let's go see it. Overtime number one in game number two of the Stanley Cup Finals. Let's go, boys, at Chicharos. Here's a chance for Lindholm streaking in. Big save by Merzlikens. By Riddick. Ooh, off the face-off, big win, and Carlson makes it... What? Wait, I just, they're wearing their old Columbus Blue Jackets jerseys? All right, respect. But man, big win for the Blue Jackets on the overtime winner right there. Two goals and 25 shots against Demko. Carlson, Gabriel Carlson with the overtime winner. So the series is tied at one, headed back to Columbus for game number three at Nationwide Arena. Let's go, boys. We only scored one goal in that game against David Riddick, so let's pick it up. First period of game three, 0-0. Zero, zero. Second period, three goals for the Bellows. Taze, Lindholm, and Debrinkat. Big, big goals right there. Jonathan Taze with his, uh, his Stanley Cup experience getting it done. He wants another one with the A on his shirt. Three nothing lead heading into the third shots tied to 25. Power play for the Bellows. Dubois scores, might have, wait, was it one second after the power play? Let's see if the EA glitch was there. 1647, so let me guess, this penalty was at 1848. Yup, great job EA, you absolute pigs. 
three to one. Two goal lead. Mark Shifley makes it four to one. Let's go, boys. Three goal lead. Don't squander this one. We can do this. 33 shots for the Jackets, so they definitely came back with a vengeance tonight, but Thatcher Demko stood strong, and we win it 4-1. to one. 34 saves on 35 shots for Demko. Goal and assist for Lindholm. Goal and assist for Shifley. And we lead this series 2-1, to one, heading in to game number 4. Shifley now leads the team in points with 22. And man, haven't touched the lines at all this entire playoff, so I'm happy to see that. Let's go, boys. First period... 0-0. Zero, zero. Second period, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Shots 19-15 to 15 for the Jackets, heading into the third period of game number four. If we can win this one, we go up 3-1. to one, And Frolik and Zingle score back-to-back, -back, and Atkinson gets the third. Three goals within about two and a half minutes for the Blue Jackets. Four goals within six minutes for the Blue Jackets. Suglobov's in nets now. They shouldn't have pulled Demko, that's for sure. And let's just get to the end of this one. 4 nothing win for the Jackets. Don't even show me the stars. Alrighty then. So now the series is tied at two, headed back to Chicharo. We've been here. This is the second or third. This is the third straight series where we where it's been tied at two. I think so. Oh, Chicharo Arena. Series tied at two. Stanley Cup final. Let's get the three-two lead, boys. We do not want to go down and then have to win two in a row. We don't want to be on the edge of elimination. Let's go. First period. Goal for Foodie. Second period goal for Shifley. Back within, uh, back tied up at one. Let's go, boys. Let's make, let's win this third period. David Perron makes it two to one. Come on, boys. Let's win this period. Come on. Power play Blue Jackets. We kill it off. Come on, boys. Fight for who you are. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. All right. We're going back to Nationwide Arena. We're down three to two in the Stanley Cup Finals. The Columbus Blue Jackets somehow are up three to two in the Stanley Cup Finals. They were the 12th best team in the NHL and barely made it into the playoffs with the Toronto Maple Leafs, Toronto Maple Leafs right behind them. Somehow the 21st place Blackhawks made it into the playoffs, so crazy Western Conference, that's for sure. The East is super strong. We need to win this game, or else it was all for nothing. We need to win this game so we can push it to seven, boys. Janssen, Shifley, and Marner, you guys, Marner, you guys are monsters. Hurdle, the Brinkat, Bjorkstrand, monsters. Eberly, you're doing well. Chittle, I'll give it to you, boys. Connor, you can do anything a bit better. Byers, 5-2. Taze, 1-3 with a negative 3. Pontus, 2 goals, 3 assists, negative 2. 2 goals, 3 assists, negative 2. He plays 10 minutes a night. Do I put Jordan Wheel in? That is the question. Lindholm, plus 5. Benson, plus 8. Anderson, plus 6. Byron, plus 1. Muller, plus 6. Wu's a plus 2. AHL, who could I even call up? Miknov? who's a defensive defenseman. He has four-star defense. Miknov, huh? How'd he do this season? He was a plus 22 this season. Dmitry Miknov. Do I call it Palin? Palin I can definitely trust. Only has three and a half-star defense, but he's a monster. He was a plus 21 this year. NHL last year was a plus two. Last year in the playoffs, he was a plus seven through 21 games. Julian Palin. Can I trust Palin? Do I call him up over Wu? I'm going to do it, boys. Pontus Aberg is out. Jordan Wheel is in. I'm sure the fans want to see it. Let's do it. On defense, I am calling up the man himself, Julian Palin. Jet Wu. He's done well. One goal, two assists, but eight penalty minutes, plus minus of two. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sold on him. For right now and Palin is has been proven he's proven himself let's go boys let's go let's push this to seven at nationwide arena who will show me that they have passion and quote first period goal from Eric Byers on that fourth line did Jordan Wheel get an assist I don't know okay first period we're up one nothing 
Second period, we're up 2-0. Hampus Lindholm with 19 seconds left. We're up 2-0. Do not squander this, boys. Play strong defensively, and let's get another one. Let's make it three. Let's go. Shots are even. Thatcher Demko standing strong. Do not lay him out to dry. Power play for the Bellows. Yes, Alex Debrinkat, 3-0. Alex Debrinkat, huge, huge goal. Let's make it 3-0. Will it be enough? Will it be enough? Panarin makes it 3-1 to one with 3.21 left. But it will be enough, boys. We win this one by a score of 3-1. to one. Demko made 40 saves. Lindholm goal and an assist. Big. Okay, boys. It all comes down to this. Let me see uh, what happened in that one game. Jordan Wheel. Jordan Wheel, please tempt me, belly. Oh, okay, plus one. But still, great game for him. Defense, Palin. He was a plus minus of zero with 10 minutes of ice time. No problem. Boys, we're at Chicharo Arena in game seven of the Stanley Cup final. Doesn't get more dramatic than this. We've been fighting all year. It's our fifth season in the NHL. We've been fighting. We have a crazy team. We can do this. Thatcher Demko stands strong. Shifley, Hurdle, Debrinkat, Marner, Janssen. I need you boys. I need all of you bellies, Lindholm, everybody. I need you all to come together as one and play with passion. Solangelier is shut down. St. Leonard is shut down. The streets are packed with tens of thousands as the bellows are looking to take it. Early power play for the Blue Jackets, but we... Oh, hold on. Pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Axel Anderson, was that penalty? My money is that that penalty was at 16-13 for the Blue Jackets. No, okay, so wait, it was a 12-56? Okay, so it was right after our power play and before, it was right after the Blue Jackets power play and right before our power play, so it was an even strength goal. Okay, okay, one nothing lead, we're on the power play. Let's get another, no, okay, one nothing lead here in the first period. Five on three power play. Five on three power play, nothing. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Okay. First period comes to an end. We're out shooting them 15 to 11. One nothing lead. Let's build on it, boys. Early power play, early. Five on three, four on three, five on four for us. Pause it. Who in the world is doing this? Pfft, delay of game, slashing and tripping. Are you serious? Okay, let's continue. Come on, boys, stand strong. Stand strong and don't you dare. Stand strong and don't you dare. Here we go. Okay, we are headed into the third period. We are out shooting the Blue Jackets 27 to 24. Thatcher Demko, 24 saves. David Riddick, 26 saves. We have a one goal lead thanks to Hampus Lind. Uh, sorry, Axel Anderson. Axel Anderson. Everyone doubted him, and here he is. Third period, Game 7, Stanley Cup Final, Chicharo Arena. Oh my, Mitch Marner makes it 2-0. Okay, Mitch Marner makes it 2-0. Let's slow it down to 4 times 4 sim. <gasps> Big Ollie, Big Ollie Belly, 3-0. 3-0 Bellows. Three goal lead with 10 minutes left. We can hang on to this. Power play for the Blue Jackets. We kill it off. Power play for us. Oh, that would be the sealer. That would seal the deal right there. It's over. Jonathan Tays. Oh my beeping goodness. Jonathan Tays with the A on his jersey. He just wanted more on that fourth line with Jordan Wheel. Oh Maron. 51 seconds left. 4 nothing lead. Thatcher beeping Demko. Putting on a show. 4 nothing, Boys, we fought for this. From nothing. From nothing, we've done it. Mark Shifley, blockbuster, came to us on a silver platter. Beep you, Winnipeg. Kevin LeBanc, beep you. Okay, cool, take your goal. And for some reason, the Blue Jackets are changing goaltenders with 30 seconds left after not conceding a goal. Okay. No problem, Columbus. That's cool. Boys, beep you, Kevin LeBanc. Beep you, Yanni Gord. Beep you, Max Pacioretty. Beep you, Yusei Soros. 
Beep you, Jonas Corpisalo. Beep you, Linus Allmark, that's for sure. Thank you, for, thank you for all your service, Joe Pavelski. Thank you for fighting for us as our first cap captain. Mitch Marner, he came to us. The Leafs didn't even want him. The cup's in the building, boys. The Leafs disrespected Marner. We respected him. We gave him a contract. We gave him money. We gave him the captaincy. Mitch Marner will raise the cup as captain of the Bellows. We fought so hard for this. We built this arena from scratch. Who's been here from the beginning? Jordan Wheel, he's been here from the beginning. He's gonna raise the cup tonight, boys. He's been here from the expansion, expansion draft. And another power play, why not? Benson, we drafted him in the third round. Byron, we drafted him very early. Seventh overall, he dropped to us and we, we respected him. He was disrespected and we respected him. Kyle Connor, we got him in the trade. Pontus Aberg, he's getting a cup. Beep you, you finally got your cup, you pig. Thomas Hurdle in free agency, huge. And with five seconds left, count it down. The fans are counting it. And the Brooklyn Bellows have done it. 2023 Stanley Cup champions. Janssen, we gave him that contract. The Leafs disrespected Janssen and Marner. The Brinkat, we saw him, we traded for him. There's Wheel, there's Jordan Wheel. Fires, we drafted him. Suglobov gets a little taste of the cup. Our future. Axel Anderson, we signed him in free agency as like a 50 overall. We played him in Burnaby, he grew. He played on our second pair. Beep you, Sam Gerrard. Beep you. Derek Broussard. Beep you, Tyson Jost, that's for sure. Con Smythe, who's gonna get it? Here's the handshakes, all right, the handshakes. Big handshake, Taransky, Rust, all the boys are there. Thatcher Demko, big shake. Jordan Eberle, nice beard. Who's gonna win the Con Smythe? It's gonna be Hurdle, Shifley, or Demko? I, my money is on Demko. Second place, I'd say Shifley. And it goes to, wow, it goes to Mark. Shifley. Nine goals, 16 assists, and 25 points to the playoffs. His hair is busting out of his helmet. EA loves their broken graphics. And the cons... Still has his helmet on for some reason, by the way. Mark Shifley. He came to us out of that nowhere blockbuster. We got him for cheap. And he was the reason we won the Stanley Cup. I don't think we could have done it without him. Brooklyn Bellow, Stanley Cup champions. Who's gonna go raise it after Marner? Marner, go get that Stanley Cup. Batman calls him over. He's still wearing his helmet too for some reason. His hair's not busting out of it though. And here he goes. Mitch Marner raises the cup for the bellows. They've done it. The fans at home are going wild. I spent a long time making that arena. The little colors in the in the, in the halls and everything. Who raises it first right there? Who is that, number 34? It's Brendan Benson, the third round pick from a couple years ago. He grew and he made a name for himself on this team. Who gets it next? Number 12, who is it? It's Alex DeBrincat, of course it is. Alex DeBrincat, he deserves it. He fought hard. Are they gonna send him off for another turn? Oh yeah, they will, why not? Alex DeBrincat. He gets sent for another turn with it. He's been playing hard, man. Big piece of this team the last few years. Wow, wow, wow. Bing, bing, bing. Don't ever doubt the Brinkat. Now there's Thatcher Demko from free agency. Disrespected in Vancouver. Stanley Cup champion. All these players disrespected. We gave them a home. We respected them. Thatcher Demko raises the cup, and there they are, boys. Jonathan Taze with an A on his shirt. Fellow team picture. Wow. Beautiful. Boys, we did it. We did it, man. Big night for Thatcher Demko. 
We beeping did it. Brooklyn Bellow, Stanley Cup champions. Let's check out the points. Shifley, 25 points in 24 games. Marner right behind him with 24. Janssen, 21. Hurdle, 20, but led the team in goals with 11. The Brink at 18. Lindholm, 17. Big performance from him. Big Ollie, 13. Might have to move him in the offseason. I don't know. Byers with 10 points down on the fourth line. Jonathan Taze with six. Pontus with five. Man, Axel Anderson, five point, a plus five with three points. Jordan Wheel, two games, a plus two. Palin, also two games and a plus one. Man, oh man. Thatcher Demko, 16, seven and one with three shutouts. 931 save percentage, 2.17 goals against average. Suglobov went one and one for some reason. All the scouting is set up. That is great to go. Good to go. So I can just simulate to the draft now. Congratulations to the Stanley Cup champion, Brooklyn Bellows, as it's about to tell me. Congratulations. Tuxen Roadrunners, the Coyotes farm team, won the Calder Cup. Salary cap next year up at $92.855 million. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see if there's anybody else that I want to extend before we hop into the draft next episode. Draft lottery looks like this. Ottawa, Anaheim, Florida, Nashville. So Anaheim lost the first overall pick and moved down to second. Winnipeg moved from third to fifth. That's rough. What are you going to do? Boston picks 14 and 15. And next year, I'm really hoping on getting a nice lottery pick with the Ducks again, since I have their first round pick. Doing more scouting for these guys' franchise as well. I sent out the scouts, as, uh, as I just said. Retired players. Did Taze call it a career... Let's see, Brooklyn Bellows, he did not. So Jonathan Tay is going for another season. No goalies for us, of course. In the entire NHL, Patrice Bergeron at the age of 37. Pretty good last season, 31 points, why not? Why not? Four and a half star defense. Patrice Bergeron, Corey Perry, Miko Koivu, Chris Letang, Lad Green, Neil Seabrook, Bozak. Some somewhat uh, larger names. Byron at the age of 34. Only Del Zotto only at the age of 32 calls it a career. Okay. Michael Raffle, a former member of the Brooklyn Bellows expansion. Goalies who retired. Henrik Lundqvist probably. Yeah. Henrik Lundqvist, 500 fight, 515 wins, 1,002 games played. Wow. Corey Crawford, Cam Ward, Kerry Lettinen, Bishop Smith, Elliot Talbot Lack. Some bigger names in the goalie category, that's for sure. What a world. Who are the scouts? Uh, who are the players that are becoming scouts? Anybody know? Okay. So we are ready to head into the draft next episode. I'm going to edit my trading block quickly. So my trading block will consist of th these three wingers. I don't necessarily want to move them, but if there's any, any one that I'd be willing to listen to the return on, it'll be these three guys. See what, they, uh, what, see what other teams have to say about that. Contracts here, seeing anyone who's expiring, anyone that we'd want to put some uh, some feelers out to. Uh, Taze, we're gonna let go. Aberg, we're gonna let go, uh, at least for now, because he's uh, he's not gonna work out. Uh, Taze does want the extension at uh, nah, it's too much money. Two years at 2.6. No, I don't have enough to even pay that. And last but not least, we'll check out the awards. Stanley Cup goes to the Brooklyn Bellows. President's Trophy to the Devils. Clarence S. Campbell to the Jackets. And Prince of Wales to the Bellows. Cup winners were Lightning. Yeah, so Jets did win a, a cup in uh, 2022, 2021 with Shifley there. So that was his second career cup. Art Ross goes to Patrick Kane. Hart to Connor McDavid. Uh, surprisingly, only his first of the franchise mode. James Norris to Carlson. Lady Bing to Kane. Calder to Neal. Con Smythe to Mark Shifley. Uh, Hellebuck won it when uh, the Jets won the cup. Vezina for the third straight year and fourth in the last five goes to Vasilevsky. Jennings also to Vasilevsky once again. Bill Masterton to Janssen, John Johansson, whatever. Selkie to O'Reilly, Ted Lindsay to McDavid, and Morris Richard to McDavid in the AHL. And none of our guys won anything, so nothing to worry about there. All right, so that's all she wrote in this one, boys. Brooklyn Bellows, our Stanley Cup champions, and now it's time to do it all over again as we head into the draft. Let me know your thoughts on who should be traded because... 
we are going to have people coming up in the system next year. My, uh, why do these overalls all change in the offseason? Why does Chittle go down to an 83 after winning the cup? My fourth line center next year, probably going to be Mason Shaw, maybe Kovanov. Uh, left wingers, maybe Canzanello makes the team. Right wingers, Laxon probably wouldn't. Defense, uh, Palin, I don't know. Silvergaard, that guy Miknov. I don't know, main roster guys here. Miknov makes the makes the roster probably. Do we move Muller? I don't know, I like Muller. Does Wu start? Does Anderson start? Is this our top six? Does Miknov just stay as an extra? Goalies, does, do we stay Demko and Suglobov? That'll, those will be the questions for next one, boys. So let me know your thoughts moving into the offseason. Should uh, Connor or B uh, Bjorkstrand or Eberle be moved because they're costing a lot of money? I I'm low on money. So if I had to move someone, who would it be? Let me know your thoughts. And I will see you in the next one as the Stanley Cup champion Brooklyn Bellows head into the offseason.